something high so that because we're going to be working deep into our hips um i had a challenging morning this morning i had to spell encyclopedia <laughs> god what a word um so come sit on your mat come come so you can already come sit on your blocks or your encyclopedias or whatever it is that you're sitting on and for me my hips are feeling comfortable like this but raise yourself up as high as you need to be so that your knees and your hips feel comfortable bringing your hands to your heart feeling the earth beneath you mother earth Find a still center, a place of coherency, of harmony, somewhere in your nervous system, somewhere in your head. Father Sky, feel the front of your body. Feel the back of your body. Left side. Right side inside how are the insides of you right now and then in relationship to the outside nice so begin by bringing your feet to stand and your feet are wider than hip distance so that's maybe two feet apart or so okay and just wrap your elbows around your knees and sit up tall and notice how as you sit up tall, your belly comes more into contact with your thighs and there's work starting to happen in the lower back, in the deep belly and in the groins, the inner thighs. Nice. And then bring your right foot a little bit wider and then stretch your right leg long and then bend your knee in and bring it back. Nice. And step your right foot out and stretch it long and bend your knee, bring it in. So you can hold on to the left knee if you wish. You can bring your hands to the floor, whatever feels right for you. So I'm stretching my leg out and then I'm stepping it in, but I'm not stretching it out from where it is. I'm stepping it wider. So it's more out at an angle as I do this. So just feel, as I do this, I can feel the deep inner thigh, the muscles of the front of my thigh, my lower back, my belly. Nice, other side. Bring your left foot wider, stretch it out. Is this similar or totally different from the other one? Stretch it out, bend it in, out, bend it in, out, bend it in. Nice. So bring your right foot a little bit out and then stretch it out. Bring your right hand to the floor and lean with your left hand down towards the right foot. Come back up, same side. Right leg goes wide, lean with your left hand, come back up, lean with your left hand, come back up, last time, lean with your left hand, pause there. So my right hand is working hard, is stabilizing me, and I'm reaching long through the left side. Pull the left elbow back into wing, and then reach wing reach wing reach nice both hands either side of that right thigh point into your right toes and lift your right leg up lower it down it might be that you flick it might be that you lift it slightly doesn't matter try lift your leg up down up down one more time up and down nice super and bring your leg all the way back in pause sitting up tall find the length of your spine the push of your belly towards your thighs nice other side so bring your left foot long out to the side and then bring your left hand to the floor and reach with your right hand down towards the left foot come back up draw your knee back in step it out lean bring it in foot to the floor step it out lean and you can be really deepening into your level of this work you know you could be trying to bring your head to your knee if that's where you're at or just 
noticing how you lengthen and move your torso in that direction. Always working your edge. One more time, bring it out, reach over towards your left foot and then pull your right elbow back into wing and then reach. So now we're really listening to the torsion in the belly, the twist in the spine, the mobility of our rib cage. Why do you lean a bit more into this movement? Nice. Both hands to the floor, point through the left toes, lift. Again, it could be just the flick, it could be a lift. The more you lean back, the easier it is to lift your leg. Whereas if you can, keep your hands on the floor as you lift, but you can also lean back. One more time. Bring your foot back into center. So bring your feet a tiny bit closer to your bum. So how do we get our bum off the stool that, or the little thing that we're sitting on? So bring your left hand to the floor behind you, push into the floor, and just see if you can reach your right hand forward with the push of your hand into the floor behind you. So I'm rocking onto my feet a bit and then back. Or maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just there with my bum on the floor and I'm just reaching my right hand forward and pushing my left hand into the floor behind. It doesn't matter where you are. It's about meeting your journey of this moment. Nice, other side. Right hand to the floor behind you. Maybe you push into the floor and rock forward onto your toes. Maybe you push into the floor and just reach your hand forward. Each of us have different geography, you know, different dimensions, different dynamics, different strengths, different places of challenge in our bodies. So just feel that. How does this meet and challenge you? Super. Stretch your legs that long. And then roll into your ankles, big circles. And circle in the other direction. Bend and straighten your knee. Bend and straighten your knee. Nice. So come back in again. So both knees are bent, feet are flat on the floor. And now stretch your right leg out to the side. Bring both hands either side of your right thigh. How would you lift your bum off the floor here? So dropping my head down will give my bum more of a chance to lift because Lifting my bum when my head is high is really hard, but if I fall far enough forward with my head, my bum will start to lift. So drop your head down, push into your hands, lift your bum. See what happens for you when you try to do this. Lift your bum. Again, lift your bum. Nice, other side, bend your knee. Stretch the left leg long and out to the side. Hands either side of your thigh. Drop your head down. Push down into that right foot, both hands. Lift your bum. Lift your bum. And lift your bum. Nice, bring both feet back to center. Wrap your elbows around your knees, sitting up tall. Find the length of your spine. Nice. So the next movement, there's like loads of different ways you could do it, but you can either stay with your feet wide and your feet flat on the floor, okay? Because we're going to start moving our elbows and our shoulders. Or you can bring your feet a little bit closer, or you can be in a squatting position, or you can have your heels on your block in a squatting position. So find where you are at this morning between your knees, your ankles, your back, all the different bits of you. Are you which way are you today bring both hands forward between your knees and then bend your right elbow and imagine you can bring your right elbow to the floor and then pull your elbow back into wing you can even look up if you wish but only if your neck likes it pull your right elbow down pull your right elbow back really see what is the best optimum way so for me i don't want to look up completely with my head I'm just looking towards the right as I pull my elbow back into wing and pull my elbow down. Wing, down. Nice, try the other side. Bring the left elbow down, pull your elbow back into wing, down, wing, 
down, wing, cool, both hands forward, drop your bum, if you're not on the floor, drop your bum to the floor, stretch your legs out long, roll into your ankles again. Cool. So come over onto your hands and knees, but actually be, uh, be sideways on your mat. And then tuck your toes under and come into um, legs are straight and hands are on the floor. And then begin to walk your feet outwards. So just walk them out to a point that feels comfortable for you. Just walking them out and then walk your hands backwards. Bending your knees as much as you need to. Begin to travel from side to side. And I'm just leaning into the strength of my thighs. I do kind of think we're standing up a little bit now. But who knows? This is quite low to the floor still. <laughs> it's camouflage standing up. <laughs> so just rocking from side to side. Just feeling into that. Notice what your range is. So lean and just pause at your end of range. And what's telling you that's your range? Is it your ankle on the bending knee? Is it the knee? Is it the hip? Is it the inner thigh on the other leg? And then lean into the other side. And so what's telling you that this is a good place to stop? Is it your ankle, your knee, your hip, or your inner thigh? Or maybe something else completely. So just feel into the edge of your movement, not forcing yourself beyond what feels really super a available and able in your body. So you're connecting to your natural inherent um, like range here, more so than expanding it. What's your natural range? Nice, bring both hands over towards the left. Drop your head down, lean a bit deeper into the right arm. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Nice, travel over towards the right with your hands. Drop your left shoulder down, lean into it. Bend your knees as much as you need to, or straighten your legs. Nice, both hands to the floor, bring one knee to the floor, bring the other knee to the floor, come lie on your back, come all the way down, lying on your back. So feet are flat on the floor, knees are bent, push your feet down into the floor, roll up along your spine, and then roll down along your spine. So as you rise up and down, because of what we were doing in the wide of our hips, perhaps the front of your pelvis, the deep psoas muscles are down into the thighs, you're telling you that they were working. So is this, are you able to lean into the, the connectivity through the body and how different parts work in different ways in different places? So what's your healthy range in this movement? as you roll up and down. Nice. So reach both hands up towards the ceiling, walk your feet slightly closer together. Bend your elbows and bring your right elbow to your right knee and then lengthen your right leg long at a 45 degree angle, reach your arms out at a 45 degree angle and your bum has lifted off the floor, zoomies. Bend your elbow, bend your knee, let them touch. Zoomies long and strong through the body. Bend your elbow, bend your knee. Zoomies. Bend your elbow. So my bum hasn't landed on the floor since I started my zoomies, but you can decide whether you completely rest down when your elbow and bum, elbow and knee touch, or whether you stay slightly floating. Pause in your zoomie. Arms are long, leg is long. Super, change. Bring both feet to the floor, stretch your arms up towards the ceiling. So bend your elbows, bring your left knee to touch with your left elbow. 
And then zoomies. Elbow to your knee. Zoomies. Elbow to your knee. Let's find your rhythm, find the sense of strength into your pelvis. Nice, one more time, pause. We find the strength of your zoomies. Palms are pushing together for me, arms are long. Lowering your bum down, land on the floor. So bicycle, draw your right knee in towards you, stretch your right leg long above your face, send your heel away from you and then lower your leg down, straight down to the floor till it hovers just above the floor. Bend your right knee, lengthen it, heel, lower down. Bend your right knee, lengthen it, heel, lower down. And as I bend my knee, I point my toe. So as my leg comes up, it points, and as it goes down, the heel pushes away from me. So it's quite powerful. Toe is really pointed as I rise up. Heel is strong and away from me. So we're gonna do a bionic <laughs> bicycle. So draw your right knee up towards you, let your bum hover off the floor or lift it as high as you wish. And then lower your leg down, bend your knee in towards you. Heel, lower your leg down, bend your knee towards you. Lengthen it, heel. Last time, lower your leg down, draw your knee up towards you. Pause there, pull your knee closer. Breathe into your belly. Your bum is in the air. You're pulling your right knee towards you. Super, lower your bum to the floor, other side. So lengthen the left leg up, toes pointed in the beginning. Stretch your leg long. Surge into your heel, lower your leg down. Bend your knee, your toes pointing as you flick up. Heel, lower down. Point your toe. Flick up, heel, lower down, bend your knee, flick, heel, lower down. Reach your arms up towards the ceiling, bend your knee, lift your bum up off the floor. Do the same movement. Heel, lower down, bend your knee, up, lower down. One more time. Next time your knee bends up towards your chest, interlock your fingers and pull your knee deeper towards you. Nice, lower your bum to the floor, both feet to the floor, sway your knees from side to side. Just feel that, swaying one way, swaying the other way. Nice, you can do gliders slowly, steadily, just feeling the, the work we did in the inner thighs and the pelvis and the buttocks and the thighs and the knees and the, just feel. One more time each side. Nice, and then squeeze both knees up towards you. Wrap your arms around your knees and just hug them deeply down. And just pause there. Breath is in your belly, spine is long on the floor. Nice, begin to gently rock from side to side. As you rock, just feel how that massages into your lower back. And let yourself really be comforted and supported by the movement. And um, nice, so have an encyclopedia handy, or a book or a block or a stack of something. And um, yeah, we're gonna work away on that kind of movement, those supported, moving, connecting, 
deepening that sense of how we do we begin to rise up off the floor with support um thank you for joining me um really is such a pleasure to be here uh, it anchors my day so this is the way yes it is it's the opposite to here but um uh yes if you want to contribute it's really pretty wonderful and very welcome and um so i'll see you all tomorrow and uh yeah keep keep doing you keep being you um keep trusting that uh, there is space for you in the world as you are and um right have a wonderful day ciao ciao mm -hmm.